Hello everyone, Boomslang here. Welcome to my channel. Um, so first off, I'd like to say, um, forgive me, uh, YouTube baseball card community, for I have sinned. It's been over a week since my last YouTube video. And uh, yeah, so uh, figured it's time. I've been busy working in the garage and work and driving around picking up things for the new studio that's being built. Let me let the cat out because now she wants out. There we go, kitty go. Come on, you said you wanted out. You going? You going? There you go. Good kitty, come on. There you go, go, make a jump. There you go. All right. So it's been uh, eight or nine days, maybe more since I did, maybe 10 days since I've done my last video. But uh, doing one here tonight just to kind of let everyone know that I'm I still, um, you know, still here, still uh, doing my thing. So let's uh, get into this. So tonight we've got um, we've got some. An eBay package that came the other day. I've, I've been kind of busy. I haven't even opened it up. I kind of forget what it is. It's not much. It's like really like one card or two cards. I'm not sure. And I picked up tonight. I was supposed to get them last week, but I put it off till this week. I was going to actually do it tomorrow. Um, but uh, Art called me tonight and said, hey, I got these boxes plus my... Um, order of 5,000 count, you know, boxes to storage boxes came in. So I had to go down to arts and pick all that up. Yeah. So 16, 3,200 count boxes, uh, 80 bucks and 25, you know, brand new empty 5,000 count storage boxes was 90 bucks. So, woo. Yeah. Hey Josh, how's it going? Yeah, I'm alive. Now, the COVID did get me. I had some people were asking. Uh, Jeff Airtime was concerned. Um, let's see who else was. Um, uh, Lee from uh, Junkbox. Um, uh, his YouTube channel over. He's a South Korean. He's a good friend of the channel. Um, so, um, yeah. So let's just get into, um, that's cool. Yeah, the COVID didn't get me. Uh, people were concerned, but no. So this is an eBay purchase. Let's get into this. I've just been really busy um, for the newer people on the channel. I'm building um, a YouTube studio in my garage. Where my garage was very bare bones, like no insulation, um, nothing. Um, one car garage, and I didn't even use it for a garage. I parked my lawnmower and all this other good stuff in there. Um, quad, um, motorcycle, a dirt bike, not, not a, like a Harley or anything like that. Uh, dirt bike, had uh, two quads in there at one time. Then I went down to just the one quad um, and the dirt bike. Now all that is in the shed with the lawnmower and a bunch of other stuff. So, all right, we got uh, popcorn. And here they are. So, yeah, all right, I know what this is. So, I remembered uh, John Jabs did a uh, Top's Finest uh, box break on his channel. And um, so I figured, you know what? I'm going to go on YouTube and see what I can find. Um, or not YouTube, on uh, eBay, see what I can find. I found these. But what's special about these is these are pre production. Um, these are samples, test samples. So, got Hal Morris. There's like four of them here. Alan Trammell, and it says um, pre production right there in red across the back. It's hard to see, but it says pre production. This camera's not going to be good enough to get it, but there it is. And then the other ones are blank backs for some reason. Don't know why they're blank. Blank backs. Don't know. But there's Hal Morris, blank back. Jeff Kent, blank back, and Jim Tomei, blank back. 
So I mean, it was like 20 bucks for this. It wasn't that bad, which included the shipping. So I jumped all over it. Get to buy it now. So that's that. That's what the eBay uh, mail was about. Put them back. And this box is part of, um, again, the 16 boxes I picked up tonight off of art. Let's check the chat real quick because I was turned away from the chat. It's a bad habit of mine. I will work on that when I get the studio up. Hopefully, I have better positioning. Hey, Jason, how's it going? Thanks, Jason. I haven't heard from J. Mark McGuire fan. Uh, yeah, I don't know. All is well here. No COVID, so people don't have to worry about that. I was just busy doing other stuff. Yeah, I, mean, I, I saw the pre-production on the, the trammel, and I saw that like, there are blank backs. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to snatch them up real quick. Did the bite now, and boom. I haven't been away. I've been busy. I, I've been out driving around uh, the state. Looking for things to put in, and you guys are gonna see it. You're gonna love it. I, I hope you're gonna love it. I, 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 I'm, I'm loving it. Um, and uh, so, yeah, let's get into this box. Let's do this. That's what we're waiting for, right? Again, this came from Art just tonight. I was supposed to pick it up last week, and I put it off for a week. And now he called, and I had to go because my my empty boxes were there too. So, all right, let's see. So. No sorting, just gonna I'll sort these later. We're just gonna go through and see what we got here. So we've got a Harold Baines. It says 83 tops. I don't have my glasses, but 83 or 84. And let's see what happened. Oh, so uh, the other day on my way home from work, I found a, a, a thing on Facebook Marketplace. Um, some lady was selling um, she said five tubs, five totes full of cards. I'm like, oh my God, five totes, no price. So I said, listen, I'm gonna come over and take a look at it and we'll see. Oh, look, Biggio. Nice. Very nice. Two Hall of Famers already. Um, another Biggio. Early year, right? Because he's in his catcher's gear. Second, third. No, oh, it says Astros quite a bit on there, right? I don't have my glasses. Sorry, guys. I have to get them on the, get them on the desk over there. And uh, Bagwell. And so I went over and looked at them. And it's actually more like two and a half tubs if you were to fill them up. They're like, she counted them half full as tubs. But it's all good. Um, one of the problems was, and it's not, it wasn't a real big thing, but it was... Um, um, a lot of football, a lot of basketball, a little bit of hockey, a little bit of baseball. More baseball than hockey, but mostly football with uh, actually quite a bit of basketball in there, too. And so I told her, listen, it's, um, um, you know, most of it's junk, junk. There was one card from 71 that was in decent shape. There was one card from 72, just kind of flipping through real quick. So it wasn't a bunch of old stuff. It was all kind of junk wax era stuff. So I told her, I said, listen, and, and you know, she was selling it for her, her brother-in-law who, or her sister, whose husband passed away. So her brother-in-law passed away. It was his mini card collection. He lived out in Seattle. There was a ton of Beckett's, some Seattle, you know, memorabilia. There was a couple of autographed baseballs in there that I didn't know that I couldn't see the signatures. All I know is the numbers were like 46, 52, you know, some, some pretty high numbers that they signed for the uniform number. So, um, so I just said, I made an offer. I was there for like a half an hour looking at everything. I made an offer. I said, listen, I, I, I give you a hundred bucks for it. And she said, well, I, I've had, um, you know, I had a higher offer sight unseen. They just said, they'll give me this for it. And I think that offer was just to reserve it, you know, to say, okay, I'm, oh, you know, but she wasn't reserving it. She was like letting everyone come, whoever would look at it. And um, 
but she said to me, I, she says to me, listen, um, I'm going to hold on to um, 1980 tops, La Rue, Washington. And um, if it's not gone by the weekend, a um, uh, hundred bucks, you want to come back and pick it up? I'm like, yeah, for a hundred bucks, I'll come back and pick it up. No problem. Johnny Wathen, one of uh, John Jabs' uh, bad omens for his channel. This is Tim Wallach, Sport Flick. So that, that still may happen. Um, and tomorrow, Saturday, my boss, um, I bumped into him, my former boss. He's not my boss anymore, but my former boss at my work. Um, he said, hey, listen, I had this guy come over to my house. He did some work and he saw my like my card collection and stuff like that. My boss is a, a big TTMer. Um, and he's got like 9,000 autographs either on cards or, um, index cards, Bernie Williams, rookie prospect, whatever, Bernie Williams. So far, the oldest card is just the 1980 tops. That's why it's left out there as the old card. Um, and he said, this guy, um, when he came back. To do more work, he brought a whole pallet, pallet of baseball cards in 800 count boxes. And he asked me if I wanted them. I'm like, uh, yeah, don't you want them? He goes, I picked out what I wanted um, for his TTMs. By the way, this uh, Swell company was from Philadelphia. Um, I actually drove past their. Um, factory warehouse one time while I was over there. They, they obviously don't make the cards anymore, but they, these are printed up in Philadelphia. Um, and he says, uh, you want them? You can have them. I said, yeah, I'll, I'll give them a home. You don't have to, you know, you know, you don't have to ask twice. I'll take them and I'll give them a home. And um, so he said, all right, come over Saturday, 10 o'clock. And uh, I'll bring my, I said, I'll bring my truck. We'll load it up. And don't worry, guys, I'll get pictures if I can, all that good stuff. Video, that's not the error card. So, that's in the works. And my wife is, um, hey, big dog, how's it going? Guys, big dog uh, has a YouTube channel, too. I'm sure, well, a lot of you guys probably have YouTube channels, but big dog, he deals in, um, um, Figures and stuff like that, Ninja Turtle stuff, you know, He-Man, uh, Batman, whole bunch of stuff, plus die cast and stuff. And he has a l little shop. Um, so check him out if you're interested in kind of like those kind of figurines and stuff like that. If you're into that stuff, he's got used, he's got new, reasonably priced. Check him out. He puts out videos uh, probably once a week now. He's been starting. Rick Farrell. And he does flea markets. He sells at flea markets. He buys from flea markets. And I bought a huge lot off of him um, during the summer. This card's all messed up. And I missed the box. So this one is stuck. Who is it? No, nope, not bad. No, nope, that is bad. Boom, in the box. Made the box. So. Wrinkled. Looks like someone bit it. Like a cat bit it. In the box. Made it. Record breaker, Carlton Fisk. Very nice. Hall of Famer. Carlton Fisk. All-star catcher. Carlton Fisk. It's like, hit the deck. Cecil Fielder's coming in. He's going to be out. Carlton Fisk. Oh, it's got some kind of stain on it. 
Yeah, I don't know. Like it's, I don't know if it's been sitting out in the sun or what happened. It's all faded on the back. Whoa. Okay. Missed the box with that one. Hey, Jay, how's it going? Thanks, Jay, for posting that. That's Alex over at Jay's Mix, guys. I'm going to check him out. Him and his daughter, they do videos from time to time. So make sure, guys, by the way, you're checking each other out. Put your links up to your YouTube channels. That's why you guys have the wrenches, so you can do that. Um, and, you know, we can drum up some support for your channel as well while you're here. Dennis Eckersley, another Hall of Famer. Dennis Eckersley on the League Leader card. Very nice. Eckersley got rubber band material on him. That rubber band's been on there a long ass time. I've seen it before. Seen that before. Eck. Eckersley. Alvaro Espinosa. So we give a shout out to um, Scott over at Reindeer Studios. Who's a huge Indians fan, and Alvaro Espinosa is one of his most favoritest, favoritest of all time Cleveland Indians. Uh, Andre Dawson, the Hawk, and another Jimmy Dean from '92, Andy Stankowitz. Dutch Dalton, rookie. No, looks young there, though. Rest in peace, Dutch. Cancer got him a few years back. No problem, big dog. It's what we do, guys. Eric Plunk, another one of John Jabs' bad omens for his channel. They seem to pop up here a lot. How about Rick Wise from 82, 81, 81. So 80, still the oldest card right now out of this box. Well, we started out hot with all those Hall of Famers and stuff, and now things just went cold. By the way, for you guys that got here late, I'll pop it up here again. I'll show it again. Um, the e, uh, eBay purchase that I made, uh, inspired by John Jabs when he was doing one of his top's finest uh, video uh, box breaks on his channel. Uh, I decided that I would go on eBay and see what I could find. And I saw these instead of packs or a box. I'm like, you know what? There's just a few here. But this is a pre-production. I have a couple of these in my collection somewhere. Don't know if they're in my, my book or not, my binder or not. But, I mean, Hall of Famer, Alan Trammell. Hall of Famer, Jim Tomei. But what's unique about these cards is there's no back. They're blank backs. So. And this is Jeff Kent and Hal Morris. So I have no idea where these came from, but they're cool. And I saw them, and I'm like, I have to have them. I got to have them. And that's it. That was my eBay purchase. Cool stuff for sure. Leave that up there. Ozzy Smith on a Fleer Award winners. Sports Writers Fielding Award. Silver, uh, what they get a gold glove, right? Mike Schmidt, National League MVP for 1986. Got a Nolan Ryan Heroes, uh, uh baseball heroes card. We have oh, Nolan Ryan uh, Diamond Kings, very nice, very nice. Tony Gwynn, Dunruss, Glavin, 
Glavin. Glavin. Pedro Guerrero. How about some Doc Gooden action? Uh, second year Gooden. Very nice. Juan Gonzalez. Second year Juan Gon. Oh, Ken Griffey Jr. His card is beat up. It's smushed the corner. Look at all the chipping down here. Yeah, dog gear here. This card is roached up. But it's the scab one. Oh, there it is. Look, he's got this. I don't know if it shows up, but it's the scab one of all ones. It's the first time I've seen that. I've heard about it. I heard people talking about it. There it is. The, the infamous Junior Scab Club of America. You too can join it if you want. Just run like crazy into the center field wall and scab your scab your forearm up. Slide hard into second base head first or home plate. Either one of your choice. If you go ahead first, you're gonna get a scab. If you go feet first, you'll get a, a strawberry, raspberry, whatever you call them. We used to call them strawberries, but some people call them raspberries, I guess. It's all the same. Hurts like a mofo. So then these uh, tops bigs here, they get all buggered up because they're oddball size and they just stick out of the box and get crushed. Tony Gwynn. Glavin. Very nice. And this Pedro Guerrero is all boogered up. In the box. Oh, and it made the box. Yes. I'll put the big ones up there. <clears throat> Sandberg. Dream Team from Score. Swindell, another one of uh, John's uh, bad omens. This uh, Lonnie Smith is boogered up. Looks like it was scuffed on the road a few times. Rhino with some damage down here on the bottom. Lee Smith. Very nice. Another Swindell. Kirby Pocket. Showing how you throw a two seam fastball. Yeah, it kind of stinks about old Scabby uh, forearm there, Scabby elbow, but what are you going to do? And this is truly a dog ear. Dave Rosema. Ros <clears throat> Kirby Pocket. Great Purkle. Pavlik. Plunk. Pool, Okendo, Ojeda, Orozco, Oliva. So they're in some kind of alphabetical order. O'Neill, Owens, Ortiz, Owens, John Allrude. There you go, Alex. Big Allrude fan, Jay's fan, anything Canada fan, Canada sports related. Ah, all chewed up. Again, it looks like a cat chewed on it or something. Missed the box. <clears throat> Carlton Fisk. And we're in the Fs. 
Now we're the G's. Juan Gonzalez, hot rookie. Galarraga, Gallego, Grace. Don Gleaton, Gonzalez, Gonzalez, Guillaume, Griffey Sr. Galarraga, Guillaume, Gibson, and so on with the G's. A couple there I couldn't pronounce. Tony Gwynn, upper deck, nice. Chris Gwynn, Tony's bro. Juan Gunn, again. Glavin, nice. Glavin, again. Hey, there's Junior. Nice, Dunruss. Got his old bling going there. Must have got paid, right? Went down and got some bling. So you can do his Domingo Ayala. And when he hits a home run, pop the chain while running down the first base. You pop the chain. Juno. We got two juniors, but we're still going to show Mr. Scabby. Going to show Mr. Scabby. And there's a Grace. That's that's like my first scab card. I, I've I've never known about it, so I've never checked my other cards um, that are in boxes that have been in boxes for years. Um, you know, there might be one in there. Here's an OPG. You can tell the backs are different. Plus, it says OPG instead of tops. But you guys knew that already. I didn't have to explain that. Fisk, All-Star again. Carlton Fisk, 1980. Very nice. So he goes with the old card. So far, 1980 tops is the old card. Pete Falcone. Very off cut, off center cut. 1980 tops. As a matter of fact, we will just pop this one back there too now. Just leave one card. That's all we need is one to represent the class of 1980. Dick Drago from 1980 tops. Hey, Jeff, how's it going? Yeah, I picked up 16 more boxes tonight. Like I said, I put it off for a week. Um, but when my empties showed up, I had to go down and pick it all up at one shot. Rock Reigns. Hey, here's our first non-baseball card. It's a Sports Illustrated Kids cutout from the magazine. Dominic Wilkins. Oh, followed by a hockey, Mike Le Lalore, Lalore from the uh, St. Louis Blues. Oh, here's a Lou Brock, Kellogg's Corn Flakes, 3D, baseball's greatest, oh, Lou Brock outfield. Very nice. Well, we should check this date on this one. Is this at Sport Flicks. 1981, it says, so we missed it by one year, but that's a cool card. How about some Richie Ashburn from uh, these are Pacific Baseball Legends, made by Pacific. Uh, Walt Dropo, another one of those swell cards from uh, Philadelphia, is where they were produced. How about a Jim Abbott, like, send-away card? 
card 50 of a 60 card set. Yeah, my wife is like, uh, are you trying to move me out there, Cy Young? Definitely a Hall of Famer. Um, are you trying to move me out because you're not going to have room in this house if you keep buying cards? This one's got all kinds of uh, ink transfers or something going on there. Robin Yount. Carl Yastrzemski, cupcake card. Not that he's a cupcake or anything like that, but it's Drake's cupcakes. Tops design. Yes. Here's a Carl Yastrzemski from Fle uh, Sewell, which is um, um, in another card from that Sewell um, manufacturer over in Philadelphia. By the way, Philadelphia chewing gum used to be Fleer before they became Fleer. Bobby Bo, Greg Maddox, Bobby Bo, hey, some justice, and 1978 manager card, Gene Mock, still not the, uh, well, that is the oldest card, sorry, so Fisk, you go there, Gene Mock now, 78 is our new oldest card, another justice, Another Yount from Bowman, very nice. So 78 now is our oldest one. So Jeff, um, I don't know when I'm going to be opening my studio, but I was thinking about having a guest for the uh, inaugural christening of my studio. And since you are like, you know, right up the road, Think about it, but if you want to be, um, we can do a live um, and maybe give away some stuff and all that good stuff. And you can be here and help uh, do some giveaways and all that good stuff. I got uh, I got some pretty neat stuff lined up. So think about it. And if you want to, you know, be involved, come on down. I will set a date, obviously, when it's going to be. Like I did another kind of video on it where i'm at so far i haven't posted any of those they'll all go up um probably on one video just meshed together drebeck um not a time lapse thing just boom 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 phases type thing like right now tomorrow's a day where the spackling's almost all done and i'm going to start sanding that'll be done there's Alvaro Espinosa again. Shout out to um, Reindeer Studios. Scott over there. That's his boy. Espinosa. Again. Eckersley. Like the fifth time. Fisk. This is all boogered up. How about some Will Clark action? First Will the Thrill. Mike Cubbage. Harold Baines. We started off with a Harold Baines card. Andre the Hawk Dawson. What year is the Abbott? I'm sorry, I, I, I'm bad at checking my uh, um, cards. And I don't put Abbott's uh, to the side, so I'd have to go back in time here real quick. Probably wasn't even in this stack. That's probably in the stack prior to this.
Oh, this one? So it says 1990 on the back. Yeah, 19, and it says 1990 there. So it's a 1990 tops. It's one of those mail in ones. You send it off with so many wrappers and a couple bucks, and boom. It's, yeah, it shows up in the mail. Uh, one gun. So my wife is like, yeah. So tonight, I'm like, uh, yeah, hon. I think we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get that other shed, two thousand or two hundred square foot, and it's gonna be your she shed, and that's where we'll be living from now on. And she's like, what? I said, well, you're the one that gave me the idea. Of course, she knows I was just joking. Was I? Hmm. Andre Dawson again. Andre Dawson. She'll never know until it's too late, right? Brum bum. Dawson again. What's going on here? We got four Dawsons in a row. All we need is a creek, and we're good to go. We have Dawsons in the creek. There's another Dawson. That's five Dawsons. Well, let's just add a six, even though it's got a crease. It's the Andre Dawson show. Starring Andre Dawson. All right, let's get, rid of the, uh, get past these two tops bigs, Pat Combs and Danny. We will not say that last name on the air because people get freaky about it. How about a Roger Clemens score select from 93? It says 92. It makes it a 93. Will Clark. Roger the Dodger, 87. Tops, third year. A very worn out Jose Canseco card. Nice Gary Carter score from 88 score. Another Canseco, which is 91. Yep, 91 Tops. Canseco, 91 Dunruss. Canseco 2020 Club. He worked his way up the ladder. 2020, 30, 30, 40, 40. Didn't make the 50-50 there, did he? I think he came close. Very nice. Tops, Ames. It was put out by the Ames department stores or whatever they were. Shopping centers. Canseco. Very nice. Canseco. Gold Cup card. Very nice. Hall of Famer Bobby. We will not say that last name. Canseco again. Chris Chambliss. Canseco Grand Slam Baseball. What the heck is this? Oh, baseball card game. Uh, baseball game. Roll your dice. Boom, boom. And tells you what you get. Where's the... Uh, Fly out center field or home run. I don't get it. Fly out center field, soccer, center field, home run. Out, pop, P. Is that a pitcher? Out, ground ball, third base, runners advance, one base. I'm getting it. Home run gets, six will get you a home run. Deuces will get you a strikeout. Seven will get you a home run somewhere. Don't know how they get that out of the other ones. But cool. Never seen these cards before. That's the first time on the channel. Uh, wait, we've got a bazooka. The Shinnin Stars. The Shinner. He's a Shinner. The Shinnin. There you go. It's his favorite show. Gary Carter flipping to the pitcher. 
for the fourth out. Rod Carew, very nice. 1981 tops. Very nice. 78 is our old one, Roger Clemens. 92 score. Will Clark, 92 tops. Check the chat real quick. Cardinals fan, 1990. How's it going? I need a drink, guys. I got to wet my whistle. A lot of talking here. Lots of talking going on. And I'm always bumping that camera when I go by. So far, the old card is that 78 Gene Mock. Um, a lot of... Oh, I started screwing up, didn't I? I put non-Hall of Famers in the Hall of Fame pile. Oh, can't say go. Can't say go. Clemens. Clark. Well, I was really screwing up there. I was just going to town. Then Dawson threw me all off. All those Dawson cards in a row. Nope. Will Clark. He went as far as back as Justice, even. I'm putting Justice on the wrong pile. What's going on? My brain stopped functioning. All right, I think we're good from here. We got the scab card, guys. That just popped in. We got the scabby card. But it's all nicked up on the bottom here. A little dog ear crunch here going on. Top's okay, sides are good, but that bottom just got, I don't know, run over cheese grater or something. But this is my first time seeing the scab card. Heard people talking about it. Now I get to see it for the first time. It's boogered up, just like that scab. They're, they're pretty nice. They are pretty nice for the most part, but you get the occasional ones that, for some reason, they're just hard to see on this lighting, but it's got a crease coming right here on here. I'm kind of going right across there. So, not all of them are crisp. Another Canseco. All right, that's that's one whole row done, guys. Um, let's get into this row because this row is like a hodgepodge. All right, look, we got a Barry Bonds. A little worn out. Corner's got a little thing on it going there. This corner kind of looks goofy. That one's a little goofy. But it's Barry Bonds. Very nice. Uh, 1990 tops. Very nice. But the number's at 128, so it's like a series one. Brett Barbary. I have to put you there. Barfield. Browning. Yeah, that corner is not dog-eared or ropes. It's just ripped. And I missed the box. It is what it is. Boggs. Very nice. Beans. Boyd, Dusty 
Dusty Baker. Hey, Joe Man's Man, how's it going? All right. So, again, for those of you just getting here, um, this is part of a 16 box lot that I picked up tonight off of a guy I deal with on a regular basis, buying lots off of him. Um, Harold Beans again. Name's Art, George Brett. How about some Barry Bonds and 89 um, Bowman? But it's got some creases going across here. Messed up corner. Again, these oversized cards, they get just wrecked in these boxes. That's on one Baron Gare messed up. Bert Bly Levin is a Hall of Famer. BGO, the franchise. You could say that. Boggs. Not that many eighty nine tops. Oh, I got I got tons of eighty nine tops though. For show. Sure. Robbie Alomar. Shout out to Alex over at Jay's Mix. Who's here tonight? Hanging out. Bert Blylevin. Kevin Brown. Boggs. Vizio in his catcher's uniform. 90 score. Very nice. Second year card. Vizio. Is that his rook? It is rookie card. And you know what? That centering looks pretty darn good. I gotta find my I got a thing that I can put over there and I can grade the card right here in front of you guys. I mean give you an idea of the grade anyway. Not just um, the thing I got in, in the mail from Central Valley Cards. I believe it was Central Valley, or was it ABC's Needs 1, 2, 3? One of those two sent me a... There's an uh, uh, Jim Abbott card. From Don Russ. Boggs. Major League Diamond Skills. Best hitter. Scott Barosius. Had a couple good years with the Yankees. Helped them win the World Series. I'm going out on a limb and say 91 and 92 Leaf was the least produced of those years. It was the highest price per pack of the card company, right? It was, yeah, those Leaf cards were freaking expensive. I think I paid, like, when they first came out fresh, over $100 for a box, I believe. It was it was nuts. It was nuts. But everyone, you know, the Frank Thomas. Oh, who else was in that? Sammy Sosa, right? You paid seven dollars a pack. They were expensive. I paid like over a hundred bucks for a box. And then once you had series one, well you had to buy a box of series two when that came out. That's a high number card, 741. X-Men card, another non-sports card. 
Um, baseball, uh, Captain America's Shield, Marvel, 1991, Weapons is Shield. Justice Award winner, Rookie of the Year, Dave Justice. How about this uh, Fleer Phenoms? That was a chase card. People are going after them. Or Dunruss, sorry. Not Fleer, Dunruss. People are chasing after all those insert cards from all those sets. Got to have them, man. You got to have them. It's like Pokemon. You got to catch them all. People had to have them all. Eddie Murray. Rance Mullinex. Okay. How do you come up with the name Rance anyway? Dale Murphy, award winner. Fielding award. So he got a gold glove. Um, oh, sorry, Murphy, you go over there. How about some Barry Larkin action? Very nice. Another Conseco. Another Larkin. Dream Team from Score. Larkin. Clemens. Conseco. Griffey Sr., Griffey Sr. Put you there. Tommy Her. There's a Tom Glavin. I don't know if that's a mini mullet he's sporting there or what. He just got like a lot of hair growing down his neck. I don't know. Carter. Very nice. Like old school catcher. Very nice. Rags. Now we're flipping like we just opened up a pack. How about some Barry Bonds? 91. Fleer, everyone's most hated set of all times. But it's Barry Bonds. Santos Alomar. Johnny Schmoltz. Doc Gooden. Bert Bly Levin. I think Bert's almost always had that beard, hasn't he? Oh, who's this? Dunruss, um, 93, MVP, Kirby Puckett. And there's two of them. Very nice. Kirby. And Dream Team Puckett. How about a Ultra Pro uh, 9, you know, pocket sleeve uh, card. Mike Piazza, card number five of six. That's pretty cool. Here's a Bonds MVP from Dunruss, 93. Had 34 home runs that year. 127 walks. How about a Griffey Sr. or Jr.? Very nice. 27 home runs. 308 average. Whoops, wrong pile. Get it right. Boom. Winfield, very nice. Wow, that's messed up. Tommy John. How about another non-sports card? Guy named Spike. He's the tight end for mm, Chiefs of the Niners. Don't know. Very cool looking back though. Looks official on the back. Sorry, Spike. Um, who's this? The Green Goblin. Okay. Uh, Matsuo Super Villains 94 Flare Ultra X Men. And who are these guys? Wheelie. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. So it's a motorcycle skull there. And he's doing a wheelie. Gotcha. Except it's like train wheels. I don't know. No, not real wheels. Not real tires. There's another one. And rescue the flaming wheels this time. It's puzzle pieces on the back.
Stacy, 1990 Marvel, and Blockade, 1990 Marvel. All right, got some non sports cards. Imagine someone telling you that in 1991 Barry Lockin will be a Hall of Famer, but Canseco and Clemens wouldn't. Yeah, there you go. And um, and and Isles, and Isles, super villains. That's from ninety one. Avengers ninety one. All right, we're out of that stuff. Bill Naharadney. A reprint of a guy named Sheldon Jones. It's all glossy, almost like plastic card. Plastic card. 1951. Reprint from 1986. CCC, whatever that is. Reprint. Wally Joyner, all boogered up on the corner because it's an oversized. Same way with Hojo. Justice, but he's got some standing on the back. And I missed the box. Bo Jackson, he's all stained up. Something got on those two. And Bo made the box. These guys are stuck together. Yeah, Jordan and oh, rubber bands, see? Rubber bands, man. They'll kill you, man. They'll kill your cards. Let's see if we can get it off of there without damage. It doesn't look like it. Nope. There you go. Billy Ripken. Tim Raines, The Rock. How about some Nolan Ryan? Followed by a Bill Russell from the early 80s, what, 83 Flair? Yep. 83 Flair, Bill Russell. Not the basketball player. How about some Phil Rizzuto? The Scooter. Very nice. From Pacific Baseball Legends, Phil Rizzuto. Rags again. Jim Rice. Hall of Famer. I TTM'd him that card. He signed it for me. For like 10 bucks. Looks very nice because all the white here. He makes sure to sign it up here where you can see it. In the, with what's in the background. Tim Raines. That one looks a little, a little faded, but it's not. That's how that card looks. We've got... Another oversized Rick Roden. How about Coca-Cola, Nolan Ryan. This one is beat up. 1992 Leaf. Card 25 of 26. No hitter number 7. <clears throat> and that's got a stain. Norm Charlton's gone. Oh, another Nolan Ryan. 1968 Mets. 2 of 26 card set. Nolan Ryan. Nice. What's going on here? Nothing. Jim Rice.
Check the chat. Bo knows how to find the box. Bo knows. Those marble cards you have, if you don't want them, send them my way. All right. Um, my wife just poked her head in here. She's probably worried she's going to be living in a she shed. <clears throat> oh, ah, let me fix my back here. All right, Josh, you've got moderator privileges, so you can uh, feel free to link your YouTube channel. VSM Brothers, that Jeff Reed is one of my favorite cars. All right. Whew, I need a drink. Well, the one where he's laying down there, like he got kicked in the cup. Jeff Reed. Yes, it is. Uh, I got bad case of gas. I knew I shouldn't eat those freaking burritos before the game. Coach was right. Another Jim Abbott. We've seen that one before, then. Steve Avery, Jimmy Dean, the Sausage King of Chicago. Not. There's another Robbie Almar times two. Avery. Sandy Alomar going all out. Sandy Alomar Jr., I should say. Hey, there's Smiling Sparky. The only card of him smiling. And he may have smiled in his wedding photo. I'm not sure. The only two times he smiled. Yep, there it is again. And Sandy Alomar, but it's got some creasing on it. Yeah, well, the truth is that that's the truth. Check it out. Check it out. Check out all the Sparky Anderson cards and see if he smiles in any of them. Robbie Alomar. Kyle Abbott. Kyle Abbott. Rated rookie Steve Avery, Mike Flowers, Bernie Williams, prospect card. That's the second one we came across tonight. Dave Winfield. Very nice. Winfield again. Bobby Witt Sr. OPT, Rafael Ramirez from 88 tops. Very nice. Another Nolan Ryan Coca-Cola card. This one is number 13 of 26. No hit club, Nolan Ryan. No hit the Oakland Athletics that day. Nolan Ryan again. Rock Reigns. Tim Raines. Yeah, 
There's Nolan Ryan. Meeting new friends. Card number 20 out of the... It's a big set. There's a couple hundred card set. Nolan Ryan. Oh, no hitter number five. A dream come true. Nolan Ryan. Perfect mechanics. Uh, there he is in the batting cage, I guess. 11th strikeout title. Man's been busy. Last pitch, no hitter number six. There it is. The final pitch of the no hitter. Oakland A's. It looks like Willie Randolph batting. Looks like he's already behind. Probably struck out. And another Ryan Wynn. Very nice. Nolan Ryan, 21 wins in 1973. Oldest to throw a no-hitter, Nolan Ryan. And also the oldest one to beat up Robin Ventura. Mitch clinched the NL East title. Strikeout number 4,000. That was amazing. Got to give him that. Uh, too bad this isn't autographed. That's the um, the last card in the Home Run Hero set, I believe. Yes, it is. And that's the one, the final card in each player set would be the autographed card. But it's still a nice card. Shows all the teams he's played for. What is this? Laying on the bottom, on the back. 3D Superstars. John Mayberry from, bada boom, hold on, 76. So it says 75 is the, the last year. That makes this a 1976 Kellogg's Frosted Flakes card, I believe. I used to buy the Frosted Flakes to get them. So it looks like 76 is our oldest card now, if you want to count that. <clears throat> Jack Morris is a Hall of Famer. Jamie Moyer is not. Paul Molitor is. Mattingly is not, but he is definitely a fan favorite for show. Tino. Wade Boggs. That's watching the ball all the way into the catcher's mitt. It's right there. You can't see it. It's blended in with the uh, with the bat, but it's right there. Right there it is. You can hardly see it. I doubt this will focus in on it that close. It doesn't have macro. I can see if the lace is there. Oh, no, I'm wrong. Right there it is. I'm bad. There it is. My bad. That is watching it into the uh, into the catcher's mitt. What I thought was laces was his fingers on the glove. That's his batting glove. There you go. Now it focuses, and it's out of focus. Yes. The ball's down there, which is blurred. But that's good hand-eye coordination there. 
got to watch that all the way into the catcher's mitt. And on the way, be able to tell if it's going to be a ball or strike. Another Biggio in his catcher's uniform. Very nice. Chat real quick. Talking to Mark Fidrich, the bird. Yeah, you talked to Mark Fidrich. That's cool. He was. I remember watching him play. He was a big deal. Like the, they would always the Tigers, whatever, whatever he's pitching, they always seem to be on TV just because of his antics on the mound. You know. Nice. There's Ryan cards. There's, that's, there's like 500 cards in that set or more. It's a big set. It's like a couple series. Marty Barrett. Kevin Brown, not many Kevin Brown cards tonight, too. Bird Bly Levin. Reggie Jackson, Baseball Heroes card. Now, this was the very first one in the Upper Deck series, the Reggie Jackson. Card number two of nine. So they only get 10 cards per set, uh, per, you know, like, subset here. And um, the first one was a header card, and the last one was, like, that Nolan Ryan, which would show Jackson doing something else, um, maybe multiple teams that he played for, too. Um, but just a tidbit of info, and I've said this before on my channel, the Reggie Jackson Baseball Heroes – was the very first autograph inserted into packs. That, my friends, is baseball card history there. All right, Josh, thanks for stopping by. Need dinner and watch this later. Cool, yeah, it's, it's going to be like a... Um, uh, did you... You can find my email, Josh, on my About tab, but you know what, I'll just put it right here right now. I don't know if you shot me an email yet or not. Oh, uh, let's see. Here we go. So it may be a while before I get around to doing it because I'm supposed to mail out. Oh, crap. I kicked this not out of the camera that time. Actually, it's the camera wire. It's in a trip zone. Trip and fall zone. It's a hazard. So I was supposed to send this out, oh God, a week or two ago to Wayne um, Finsicum, Finsicum, from, from Wayne. And, and I totally um, got busy and actually forgot. I was in the back of my mind and then I totally forgot about it. It is packaged up, his uh, card or something. He won. Oh, it's 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 one of those uh, big head, big head things with the um, with a suction cup on it that uh, he gave away when he opened up some packs and let people try to guess who was in the pack. And he had guessed this guy prior and then changed his guess. And since it was the one that ever even came up that was close to getting it, I gave it to him. How about an eighty-three? Uh, tops, Eddie Murray, very nice. Dumbest Diamond Kings from 1989 or 90. 89. Donnie Baseball, very nice. Ooh, league standouts, but it's so miscut. It's so off-center cut. You can see the, the border on the bottom, how it goes really thick to thinner. I don't think it's designed that way. Don't think it's... No, it's not designed that way. So, too bad. But 
That's what happens. I was going to say earlier, we haven't had any Cal Ripkins yet. Here's our first Cal Ripken. And uh, see if we get any more here real quick. Maybe not. Nope, not a quick stack of Ripkins to rip into. Another Swindell. And a nice Ryan Sandberg. All-star card. Hey, Steve, how's it going? Wood Buzzard 978. Hey, Wood, how's it going? Hello. Low disk space. Yeah, I know. I need to upgrade my, upgrade my hard drive. All the notifications are coming in. What's going on, Wood? How you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Um, this is uh, oh, just one 3,200 count box uh, from the lot that I bought tonight off of um, Art for um, 80 bucks. Sandberg, very nice. How about Bruce Suter, Hall of Famer? Very nice. At one point, he was your top closer in the league. If you guys just getting here, we actually found in this box the um, Griffey Jr. scab card. Unfortunately, you can see it right there. Kind of focused in on it. You see that nasty looking scab there? But look at the bottom of the card. It really looks like it was like, ran over cheese grater real quick. Like, yeah, cheese grate this. And put it on uh, my salad or something. And put it on my pizza, and it didn't work. Hey, Steve Rademacher, how's it going? Yeah, I, I got to admit, I... How about this? Gold leaf, Barry Bonds. Very nice. I don't think he's catching that one. He's just like... Lollygagging after it. It's going to bounce way in front of him. Maybe AstroTurf bounce over his head. Randy Kutcher. Why have I never seen that card? Maybe I have. I just don't. Whoa. This is a shiny brass whatever. Another one of those um, Marvel cards. Art by Jim Lee. Wildstorm set number one. I don't know. But it's uh, all shiny. It actually feels like it's plastic too. Like you can't screw that one up. Guys, sometimes you'll be surprised. I open a lot of these boxes off screen too. Oh, look, here's another one. Steve O'Neill. Oh, it's a reprint, 1986 CCC. And it's like a plastic card too. That's the second one of those. Never have I seen those before. And I've got clearly over two and a half million cards in my collection right now. Yeah, well, I think I've, you know, even though that, that Griffey's all buggered up, I still like that card because it's the first scab card I've seen. I heard stories about it. John Allrood, there you go, Alex. Nolan Ryan. Now it's worn out. It's got some wear on it. 
But 85 Dunruss, Nolan Ryan has got a messed up corner there. A little bit rounded corner there. And, of course, you know, black cards are notorious for being rough edges. But it's another Nolan Ryan. I, this box has got more Nolan Ryans than Nolan Ryan has Nolan Ryans. Uh, that's a um, upper deck Baltimore Orioles logo sticker. Alan Trammell. Dave Winfield. So far, guys, our oldest card is from 1978 in this box so far. Nice Gene Mock here, manager card. And I showed earlier my um, uh, eBay purchase. This was inspired by John Jabs, for you guys that are kind of new coming in here. John Jabs did a um, Top's Finest box break on his channel. And I'm like, you know what? Let me go check out, see what I can get for boxes. And I saw this, and I'm like, all right, it's a four-card lot. But this is a pre-production. You can see it and barely see it in the red going diagonal across there. It says pre-production. So it's a promo card. And then these, I saw Tome, Kent, and Hal Morris, but they're blank backs. So I don't know what the deal is with these. You feel like they're thicker stock, you know. There's not, there's no, like this one's thinner, it's warpage. These babies are thick. So I don't know what the deal is with them, but they're blank backs. I thought they were neat, especially you got Hall of Famer Tome and Trammel. So it was like 20 bucks delivered. So, all right, I'll go for it. And did a buyout, buy it now on them and took them. They, you know, they arrived the other day. I just been too busy to go through them. Hey, Goody G, how's it going? Alan and um, Ginters. Nice. How about an 81? Um, Sunrust. I remember when these came out. I'm a lot older than you guys. I remember when these came out. It was at my little local, you know, mini mart type store. And um, buying them right off the counter, you know, bought the whole box, ran home. And if any of you guys saw the the um, Eric Jabs um, video where he opened up a very expensive box of those, uh, he experienced the same thing I did back in 1981. One box. And it was like all the same cards, all Yankees. I was getting all kinds of Yankee cards and I'm a Yankee fan, but even I was getting tired of seeing like all the same card, all the same card. I went through half of the box and I said, this is, this is nuts. So I packaged up the rest of that box and closed the letter, sent it back to Dunruss and they mailed me a whole box for free. So there's Will Clark. It's off center. There's a classic um, baseball card game. Will Clark. Will Clark, 90 Fleer All Star team. First baseman. Gary Carter, All Star catcher. Well, um, again, this is a Fleer product produced over in Philadelphia. Uh, Orlando Sopeda is a Hall of Famer. Rocky Calavito is a Hall of Famer. The um, 
these swell cards are, um, like I said, they're the Philadelphia Chewing Gum Corporation, which was FLIR um, before FLIR came, became FLIR. And these guys, this card is from 1980, 1990. Yeah, 1990. I think I had an older one in there, a couple years older. Manager cards, you see, yeah, Gene Mock is this the oldest card in the box so far? 78. Gene Mock. Carter. Carter. Liver pill. No, just kidding. Look at this. Studio. Barry Bonds. And sometimes you got to check them for like really low numbers. The, there'll be pre production models or cards you won't know unless you look on the backs. They're not always stamped pre production. Piece of rubber band stuck to that one. Swell, Don Clendenin. Nineteen ninety as well. Yep. Not a Hall of Famer. Will Clark, Will the Thrill. Joe Carter. Harold Baines again. Six Uribe cards in a row. Dale Unser. Oh. Seven, eight Uribe and a Brady Anderson rookie. Yes, it is. Brady Anderson's rookie card. Guy had 50 home runs in one year. I think he went back to back 50 home run years, but he was juicing. He is a juicer. All right, two rows are down, guys. We're halfway through this box. How about a Donnie baseball? Nice. Off center. Left to right, top to bottom, but still. Jack McDowell with Pudge Fisk in the pitcher. Oh, Frank Thomas almost glossed over it. I thought it was gonna I thought it said Andres Thomas first. I'm like, oh hold on, hold on. Frank Thomas, there you go. Rookie card. From the dreaded yellow border. 90 Fleer. 91 Fleer, sorry. Frank Thomas Rook though. And centering's off a bit. Two 2016 Bowman Chrome Tatis Juniors in an old box. It's always fun, isn't it, to go through like an old box you have sitting around and bam, there it is staring at you because you're like, oh, well, he was a nobody. Now he's a somebody. Carter. There's a nice Fleer All Star Dwight Gooden. Very nice. Oh, Lefty Gomez. I'm pretty sure he's a Hall of Famer. Maybe not. Maybe not. Only 189 wins and 102 losses. He might not be a Hall of Famer. Oh, here's our third one, Mike Gura. Get another reprint. It's our third one, Glavin. We got a lot of Glavin cards in this box. Glavin. It's like a third year card. Doc Gooden, pitching award. 
And that's got grouts. It's all boogered up. Creased. Looks like lightning strikes across the card. Glavin. Gilkey, one of John's bad omens. So I always set him to the side. This Paul Gibson got a hole in it. Tom Gordon. Ron Guidry. Mark Grace. There's Guidry again. Nickname, Louisiana Lightning, I believe. Raging Cajun, maybe. Jim Gott. Oh, we got a little card in the back. It's a sticker of Wade Boggs and Pedro Guerrero. And we got a boogered up big card on the near front. Jay Howell. The infamous Jay Howell. Gidry again. Gooden. Joe Girardi. There's a Leaf Gold Paul Gibson. There's the base card. Juan Gonzalez, rookie, right? Yes, sir. All right, Wayne. Nice. What'd you sell? Nice. All right. I don't know if Wayne was in here when he saw he still had his mail here. He's probably wondering what happened to it. I still have it, Wayne. Sorry I haven't gotten it out. I'll be out tomorrow early, so I'll be stopping by the post office and dropping it off. Finally, no excuses. Whitey Herzog, Hall of Fame manager. Ricky Hendu doing his thing. Another Whitey. By the way, guys, I said this umpteen times on my channel. If you do TTM and might want to send to Whitey. He does TTMs, but it's getting up there. He was born in 1908. No, just kidding. Um, 1931, guys. So he is up there in age. What, next year he'll be 90? So, Mr. Hershiser. Mickey Hatcher. All right. 
Now, someone had commented earlier about, um, not Biggio, but about some 88 tops or something like that. All right. 88 or 89. That one's all boogered up. George Brett. Um, off center, Wade Boggs. Billy Buckner. Another BGO from 92. Very nice. Yaz. Oh, what's with that corner there? It's got ink on it or something. Spilled on it. But we just had a, a vein, we'll call it a vein, of 89 tops. I don't know if they were talking about 88 or 89. Oh, you know what? So here, just flipping through real quick, here's an error card. Manager error card. See that little white spot above the J? The hook in the J? Get the focus. Boom. It's supposed to be blue. They do have versions out there that are blue. This is the error 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 card. So that's I think our first error card of the box. And I was not even gonna look at these, I was just gonna thumb through them. Just saw the Harold Harold Baines in here somewhere. Where's he at? There he is. Harold Baines. Quisenberry, I think I just saw him in here, right there. Quisenberry, another of John Jab's bad omens. And let's see what else is here. Ooh, wait a minute. What's this? Some flair metal. Scott Rowland. Very nice. I just dug into another stack here. Looks like we got a stack of newer stuff. Not really super new, but not from the 80s anyway. 99, so this is a 2000. Clear Ultra. Very nice. Scott Rowland. Scott Rowland. Another Rowland. Rowland with Rowland right now. Scott Rowland. And you got to remember, guys, I live, you know, near the uh, Philadelphia area. So people would be PC and guys like this in their collections and then for some reason like if he went to, when he went to st louis they're like ah he's a bum and no longer cared about his cards because obviously here's a bunch of scott Rowland cards right here this is a nice one what's this philosophy phillies invincible so that's a pinnacle product no pacific Pacific. Here's a nice upper deck. I like these. Those are cool. Black diamond, only it's red. Diamond Nation, is that what it says? Flare Ultra. Flare Skybox. Upper deck. Rookie of the Year card. National League. Flair, upper deck. Uh, this is a Star Quest from Upper Deck. Tops. Star Quest again. Star Quest again. And then we shift gear to Schilling for some reason. All right. Well, there's a nice little stack of Scott Rollins. And we got Kurt Schilling, who is on the is on the Hall of Fame ballot. I got your Christmas card today. Thank you so much. Cool. Yeah, it's getting to be that time, isn't it? Kurt Schilling, so he is on the Hall of Fame ballot. Could make it this year. Here's a die cut Schilling. Very nice gold version, too. Gold medallion edition. Very nice. And there's the base. Non-die cut. Non-gold. Upper deck. Very nice. 
Ooh, look at these. These are nice and shiny onyx. It's a protect product, right? Yep. Very nice. Those are cool cards. Let's see what else we got. I think we just I think that might have been all our rolling our um shillings because we're back to rolling again. And this looks like a gold version. Yes, no, no, I guess not. Nineteen ninety nine Fleer. Rolling. That's a silver version. No, nope, now we're back to shilling, so I don't know. Shilling. 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 Clemens and Shilling. There you go. Kurt. 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 And we're going with Curtis. And it's got some scuffage on it. I don't think it'll buff out. Red Star Quest. More nice. Another Clemens and Schilling cards. Here's the parallel foil card. Season highlights from upper deck. Another red star quest. Is that a rookie there? Yeah, it is. Rookie. Back to Scott Rowland. 2000 Gallery. And Hitters Club from Upper Deck. Ton of shillings. The manager on the error card was um, Jimmy Williams, Toronto Blue Jays. Is that 89 tops? Yeah, 89 tops. And again, it's got the white inside the hook of the J. It's got Roland. Got rolling, 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 and we're back to shillings. Rookie cards. Yep. Class, upper deck. All right. So we got here. Eddie Murray and Cal Ripken on a team leader's card. Shilling rookie. Shilling. Shilling. Uh, Bowman foil. Very nice. Shillings. Shillings. Chilling, 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 chilling with chilling. There's the rook again. Nice upper deck. Very nice. Chilling, chilling, chilling. And we're just chilling out the shillings right now. Shilling 
rookie. Bought so many of those packs trying to get the yellow Robert or Fett. Who's Fett? Hey, NCJ, how's it going? Hobbyist is here. My new video will be premiering in 15 minutes. All right, guys, make sure you check out that premiere, too. All right, new video premiere. Never done a premiere. However, I, my when I open up my studio, I will be doing a live, you know, kind of grand opening of the studio. Hopefully soon. I'm not going to put a date on it because I'm... Still working on the inside. All right, so that's shillings. We had a ton of shillings, probably 100 shillings. Now we're back to Rollins again. And a cover glory, Roland. Cover glory, Roland. And it's cool. It's embossed with the threads from the baseball ovation from upper deck. Very nice. Nice little stack of Scott Rollins here and a huge 100 card plus stack of Kurt Schillings. And just the first shilling right here. All these are Kurt Schillings. It's ridiculous. A lot of repeats. For you, those of you guys who are getting here late, <clears throat> I, I think the find of the box is this Griffey Scab card. I stop banging on the thing. You can actually see the scab. This is the first one I've ever seen the scab. Like I said, I've heard John talk about it on his channel. <laughs> That's the nasty scab. But it's all boogered up. It looks like, like I said before, it looks like someone ran it across a cheese grater. <coughs> there, now the car looks so much better now. You know, and boogered it up. All right, so we got a small stack of... These, I'm not even going to go through them on camera. There you go. We just went through them. We'll see what else is in this box. Uh, if you guys don't know me by now, I like to go to the dessert first and have the main course later on. So here's some. And this just worked out this way. I looked at the other cards and I thought they would be nice cards. But here's a nice uh, VJ Lavero showcase of Jim Abbott card. Very nice. Like the Yankees uniform on them. Very nice. And we got a Kirby Puckett. Best of a generation from Upper Deck. Uh, diamond debuts of Raphael Trilando. Orlando. Trilando. These cards are all turned which way? Let's see. Look at that. Checklist card of Tommy the Sword. Old white haired Tommy. Manager, buddy's Hall of Famer. Eckersley, strange but true. We're not going to get into that. Uh, Rich Hunter, sorry, Rich. Enrique Wilson had a couple good years with the Indians. And Robert Smith, sorry, Robert. Uh, never really heard of you either. And do we have a, a no name in here? No name on front. Schilling is the precursor, right? Quisenberry. No, just a small stack and jumbo pack or couple packs, but no. So we're going to put that in that row. Uh, some 92s. Gilkey as charged. Not a whole lot there. Again, I'll go through that later. I'll score that we're not worried about. Let's see what else is in this box. All right, we've got some upper decks. Another Jim Abbott there. Look at that. We can talk about focus. Oh, Johnny Baseball. Very nice. I like it. Don Mattingly. Oh, there's our first McGuire card. Look at that. First McGuire card in the box. Boggs. Oh, Hall of Famer. Sorry. There's Alex Gonzalez. Shout out to Alex. 
over at Jay's Mix. Let's see who's that? Galarraga. Is that a chipper? Yes, it is. Look at that chipper Jones. Nice. Very nice. A very young chipper looking chipper. Rookie card. One strikeout. One walk. One double. Two hits. Two runs. Three at bats. Eight games. 667. Very nice. Chipper Jones. Hall of Famer. How about Lee Smith, Hall of Famer? These cards are trammel. They're just all boogered up. Look, they're, every other one is flipped. What the heck is going on here? Sachs, Williams, Du Bois. Hey, Donnie Baseball. We'll take it. Don Mattingly. El Presidente. Kurt Gibson. George Brett. Nice one, for sure. And now we're flipping them over. Chuck Finley, George Bell, Mickey Tettleton, Frank Tanana, Andre Dawson, the Hawk. Hey, Jim Abbott. Look at you there. Another Abbott. All right, what do we got here? Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Jim Rice, Hall of Famer. Very nice. Nope. 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 Robbie Alomar going all out. Not spitting on you. Just going all out. Another shilling. Why not? There's John Allrude timing the pitcher. Cruck. Pat Borders. Green. Devon White losing the bat. Dutch Dalton. Paul Molitor. Very nice. Lenny Dykstra. Hershizer with his cool rays on. Ooh. Dave Parker. These cards are all flippy flops. Look at that. Ricky Botalico. Maurice Vaughn. Rookie card or prospect. Mike Messina. Hall of Famer. Bad nice. Baylor. Oh, crap singles. The cheesy guy is Hall of Famer. Barry Larkin. Would have thunk it. All right. Thanks, Alex. A lot of variations in 90 Donuts. A lot of errors. Yes, you're right. Dave Parker. Lee Arthur Smith. Wallace Joyner. Lenny Dykstra. Tombstone Pizza card. Okay. And. Oh, we, oh, all right. Here we go. Man, it's still flip. Mike Piazza, though. That's a cool one with um, Eric Carros there and a big cutout of Tommy Lasorda. Very nice. Dave Doster. Dante Bichette. Mm -hmm. There's another Jim Abbott. Scott Spezio and Sal Fasano. Well, that was a hodgepodge mix of cards there. You got the Thomas one? Very nice. I might have it somewhere, too. I don't know. I got so many cards. All right, let's go for this stack right here. Schilling, of course. Why not? Dykstra. Oh, God. Don't tell me they're all going to be flipped. Sheffield. They're going to be flipped. Who does this? Oh, Vaughn. There's Larry Walker. Hall of Famer. Tino, not. Jimmy Key, not. Paul O'Neill, not. Mark Whitten, all hands inside the border. There's our third junior card of the night. And what he's doing there, flipping the bat at the ball? No idea. Really? Okay. Alvin Davis is the only Mariner player to ever win the Rookie of the Year award. Bishette. 
Matt Bat Williams, rookie card, Paul O'Neill, Dave Henderson, Jay Buhner, David Cohn, Pudge Fisk, there you have it, Hall of Famer, El Presidente, Dennis Eckersley, Hall of Fame, John Crook, I only have one nut, or is it John, I only have one nut, Crook, maybe that's where it goes. Still probably a nice guy. Cecil Fielder. Check the chat real quick. 866 subs. Cool. I remember you working on one... Hundred LOL. Yeah, it's been a while. I I actually was at eight sixty seven. I don't know what happened. You know, you go up and down, you up and down, analytics, whatever. I would love to get to a thousand and just get over that milestone hump and put it behind me. But it's still off in the future somewhere. There's John Alroot, Mariner style. And he's holding his bat wrong. Yes. No, he's not. Okay. Never mind. He got it right. Cameron, Sean Estes, Palmer. Here's a Bagwell coming up. Flippity floppity. Again. Jeff Bagwell. Dempster, Radke, Nen, Lofton, Garcia. Checklist, Berkman. Checklist, Sweeney. Checklist Abreu, who's on the all star ballot. Jermaine Dye, Brian Giles, Travis Ryman, we got Mike Messina, Peter Gammons. Inside the numbers. Hall of Famer. How about Strawberry and Eric Davis? Very nice. Biggio Bagwell. Very nice. Peter Gammons. David Justice. Nice. That's a beautiful card. Padres. McGriff. Gwynn. Uh, Red Sox at one time. Highly touted. Um, rookie. Bum. Bust. Plantier. Phil Plantier. And Sheffield. I knew it would get there. I knew it would get it. Sheffield, Plantier. There you go. Enough said. Hershiser. Yep. Nigel Wilson. Nope. David Need. Roger the Dodger. Clemens. Very nice. Kirby. Herbie. Puckett. Will the Thrill. Barry Bonds. And Matt the Bat Williams. Very nice. Oh, what a rotation that was. Avery being the weak link, but still. Very nice. There's Frank Thomas, and please don't hit me. Um, Nolan Ryan. I've had enough. Frontera. There's Carter and Elmar. Brett. Nice. Robin Yount. Lipstash without the mustache and Paul Molitor. Very nice. And we're not done yet. We have some tigers. Mark Langston and a couple of what is this? Josh Beckett. Flare Ultra. Looks very young there, Josh. They're like 13. Andrew Jones. Brian Jordan. Todd Zeal. Justin Thompson, Mickey Morandini, Schmiley, um, Dale Murphy, Gallagher, Roberto Kelly, Kevin Seitzer, Wally Joyner, Dave Steeb, Wade Boggs, very nice, Ricky Hindu. Doing the Ricky Shuffle at first base. Paul Warner. He's probably a Hall of Famer. Grover Cleveland Alexander is a Hall of Famer. Then put off. 
there on the side. Let's see. Fazero, Bell, Bordic, Stoudemire, Reyes, White. Bubba Trammell. All right, what's this new card doing in there? Kevin Kymer. Twenty seventeen. What is that doing there? Well, that's the newest card. But doesn't I mean uh hella beans. Locum Watson. Reggie Sanders. Wakefield. Mark Wallers. Sean Green, Blue Jays, Brian Jordan, Trevor Hoffman is a Hall of Famer, there's a interleague preview, Bagwell and Frank Thomas, the big hurt, very nice. Ricky Bonus interviewing the equipment manager. Check the chat. Be right back, guys. An all rude one of my previous boats had an Evan Rude similar <laughs> or Evan Rude. Steve Rademacher. There you go, guys. Check them out. Make sure you're subscribed to everyone on here. Sam Crawford, Luke Appling is a Hall of Famer. Roger Clemens is not a Hall of Famer as of yet. Please sack. Brett. Tim Reigns. Hojo. Horses. Andre Dawson. One of the um, featured players in this box apparently three finger brown um i think he had four fingers gabby hardnett billy williams is a hall of famer carl hubble i believe is a hall of famer bill dickey is a hall of famer jim cott is not a hall of famer oh we've got a video rookie card here i'm pretty sure but hold on let's put that one where it belongs that's got to be a rookie card right Boom. Yes, it is. Biggio. A lot of Biggio cards, too. Key. Gant. Yount. Coleman. Eckersley. Buddy Bell. Cecil. Finley. Molitor. Dale Murphy. Ozzy, the Wizard. John Sutton, Hall of Famer. Johnny Schmoltz, rookie card. Schmoltz, rookie. Glavin, second year. Fred McGriff, very nice. And Gary Sheffield, rookie. All right. Moving right along. Ralph Kiner is a Hall of Famer. Derek Lowe, Charles Johnson. Troy Gloss, Sean Green, and this is like the Topps 50th anniversary, so I don't know if that's a special set or whatever, because it's got the stamp on it. I don't think all cards have the stamp on it, right? It might be Parallels, Fred McGriff, Gary Sheffield with the Dodgers, Tom Kelly, manager, Felipe Elu, manager, Oops, making a mess over here. Michael Tucker, Brett Boone, Aaron Boone. There you go. Boone Brothers, back to back. Todd Helton. He's on the Hall of Fame ballot. Might make it one day. Helton again. Helton for the third time. What in the Helton's going on here?
Jason Kendall. I bought my boxes off a guy named Fred Kendall. And Roger Clemens. Look at there. 20th anniversary. For Fleer. Very nice. We've got like mm, three and a half rows down in this box. Charles Johnson. Javi Lopez, not Davy Lopez. Tim Salmon. First salmon card of the day, the night. The box. Omar Vesquel. He might make the Hall of Fame one day, right? Morsi Salou. Raphael Farnago. And how about it, Manny Ramirez? Followed by Manny Ramirez. Followed by Mike Messina. Followed by Bartolo Colon. Is a cult hero in baseball, right? Followed by Jim Tome. Are you kidding me? Very nice. Another Manny. That's three Mannies. Two Messinas. Oh, now we're switching gears to the Blue Jays. Nope. Now we're just jumping all over the place. Back to the Blue Jays. Blue Jays. Angels. Glaws. Benji Molina of the famous Molina Catching Clan. Darren Erstad, Jermaine Dye, Johnny Damon, their Jerry Manuel, manager, Juan Gunn with Detroit. Paul Canerco had a lot of home runs in his career, believe it or not. Not many at this point, but he had a lot of home runs. Juan Gunn again with Detroit. Carlos Lee and Erstad again. I'm currently in Philly, but I swear by the end of the weekend, I'm going to New York City to Coney Island and get a bunch of authentic Coney Island hot dogs. <laughs> Goody G uh, sent Hobbyist an email earlier today. Interstate travel in New Jersey is somewhat restricted. These state borders are different from state to state, or different from state to state. Yeah, they want you to quarantine for 14 days here in New Jersey. I travel from Jersey to Pennsylvania every day just to go to work and back, so I don't get any hassles, but they do have the like arriving out of state uh, flashing on the overhead built you know lighted billboards talking about a 14 day quarantine and arriving from out of out of state call dial 511 to uh, get the latest covid lockdown stuff going on all right so we got a lot of well not a lot but there's Leo Lee Smith we'll do it with Lee Smith but I can spend a whole lot of time we're just going to go through this real quick I'll sort this later. Small stack of those. However, here's some more um, 91 Marvel cards. Thor. I don't know who Kusar Kurs is. Wolverine. Everyone knows who Wolverine is. Cyclops. Nick Fury. Sounds like a cool name. I have to remember. I'm going to like name my one of my characters in my game, like Nick Fury or something like that. The Hawk, of course. Captain America. Sabretooth. Venom. The Mandarin. He's a bad guy, obviously. Chameleon just looks like a bad dude. Grim Reaper. Obviously, by the name, he's a bad guy. Mojo looks like um, Jabba the Hutt from Star Wars. Except there's no rat hanging out of his belly button. Or maybe there is. I don't know. Fin Fang Foom. Jigsaw. Uh, yeah. Scarface himself. Tombstone. Ulink. Ulink. Whatever. Checklist. What's this? $3. 
Texas Rangers trading card collector's album for three ninety five. Just man away. I wonder if I sent it. I could get one today for that. I'd be out four bucks. Not happening, Captain. So that goes with the non kind of sports things. Because it doesn't really have a home. Eckersley. Griffey. Tanana. Alvin Davis. The only player in Mariners history to win the Rookie of the Year award. Just ask Donald Blumdahl. Terry McGriff. Alvin Davis. There he is. That name keeps popping up. Willie Randolph. Now oh, we got some dream teamers here. Two Clarks and a Pocket. And then we got to be flipping... Flipping cards. Boggs, Dream Team. Another Biggio card. Very nice. And look at that big bat on the big hurt. Now, I've seen two of those at the flea market mm, last year. And I didn't even ask. I should have just asked and bought one because I, I so much want one to be hanging in my studio right now kind of overhead suspended from the ceiling um, huge bats but I didn't inquire I didn't follow my instincts I was way more scary than COVID my neighbor's name a puppy COVID. Wow. All right. What else we got in this box? A few more. I don't think we're going to spend a whole lot of time on this box. This little stack here. Who's that? Oh, Plunk. Sure, why not? It's Eric Plunk. Baines again. You can always find a Baines card somewhere. Right? Everywhere you turn around, there's a Harold Baines card. And Pasco. Alright, so I'll go through those off screen. Trying to wind it down here. Strange but true. Uh, John Hudak. Uh, Hershiser, postseason. Jimmy Haynes, rookie. Edgar Martinez, Hall of Famer. Alex Ochoa, Chipper, and Larkin. Very nice. Checklist card, but still. Ruben Rivera. Jim Edmonds, Glavin, checklist. Barry Bonds, look at that. Nice Barry. Todd Green, Jeffers, Jeffries. There's a very young looking Bagwell. JT Snow. Dutch Dalton. Isring Housing. Dion Dion Sanders. Jason Garrett. Tim Raines. Harold Baines. Eckersley, Ricky Henderson. What's Lance Parrish doing there? Oh, he's a Hall of Famers. And then you got Lance Parrish. Oh, and uh, Fernando. Who started out like a Hall of Famer. Donnie Baseball. Sporting a freaking goatee. Reggie Sanders. This is Ron Gant. Dennis Martinez, Adeo Nomo, Cliff Floyd, Alan Trammell, 
Isringhausen, Lou Whitaker, Gaetti, and Wakefield. All right. Thanks, Alex. We pack wax is doing football because he can't get baseball. Baseball's too expensive. I bought um, five packs a month or so ago of baseball off of their website. It was like 20 bucks for five packs. I opened up two, did pack wars with my boss. He beat me. And um, I think he beat me. I only beat him once. And um, I have three left that I just put away for my grandkids. Lee Smith, big head guy. Big head Martinez, big head Bonds. Well, that fits. That That's perfectly appropriate there. Mike Messina, Pogue Joe. Seen that one before. Lee Smith, Avery, Cohn. Nixon, Carter, Boggs, Bagwell, Gold Cup, very nice. Roger Clemens, All Star, Lee Smith again, Jim Abbott for the about the fifth or sixth time. Carter, Boggs, Cone. Sandberg, Larkin, Bonilla, Kirby Puckett, Tom Glavin, very nice, Will the Thrill, Bagwell, Steve Yount, Steve Molitor, Randolph, Hey, there's our first Randy Johnson, the big unit card. Hey, Randy, thanks for stopping by. Stewart, another Brett card. Jack uh, Jack Morris, Hall of Famer. Hey, is our first Kevin Moss card. Thanks, Kevin. He's in my broken bat binder, by the way. Guys who like to break their bats instead of hit home runs. All right. A few more left here, and we're going to call it. There's Bonds on the checklist. Charlie Huff. This guy holding the picture of himself, right? How do you do that? It's photoshopped. Who knows? Oh, we know this guy from John's channel. Ah! Scary stuff. Ron Karkovice. He's only he's only twenty nine in that picture, by the way, guys. Oh, Karko. Marvescal. Juan Bell. Last stack right here. We're not going to go through the rest of that box. It's, I know it's almost 800 cards, but it's you know going to be junk. And we're already pushing like two hours, two and a half hours now. Trammell. You're out of there. My Bordic. That's Griffey Jr. there on the checklist. Of course, it even has his name there. So, Duh. Open your eyes, Mick, and read.
What is that frog face doing? Oh, he's a baseball player named Paul Gibson for the Detroit Tigers. Yeah, I've heard of him, kind of. And followed up by Mike Dunn. And that is it for today's live stream. I uh, appreciate you guys stopping by, swinging by, chit-chatting, hanging out, asking questions, making comments, suggestions, all that good stuff. We have a broken bat PC, like real bats. I had I had real broken bats that I was collecting too, but they're all like minor leaguers and stuff like that. But you're putting together like I did a binder of guys with broken. I think I got like almost close to 30. Not quite. I think it came up a little bit short. All right, hobbyists. Thank you. The wood buzzard. Yeah, cards. Yeah, I remember. I think you said you were going to, you had one that you were doing too. That's cool. Just something different, you know, something different to kind of maybe break up the monotony of just the standard, here's my binder kind of thing. Like I have that error binder. Uh, I also combine that with the pre-production cards, the promo cards, stuff like that, that are in that binder. Um, uh, let's see what else. Um, I think that's it. I can't wait, guys, to get my studio up and running and share it with you guys. Um, I got a lot of, not a lot, but I got some really neat things I have planned. And um, you're going to see some really neat, cool stuff, I think. Stuff you may have never seen before. Stuff you may have seen before. Uh, one I know you've probably seen before. So that's that's cool, though. I wanted to do it this way. I had to run around and buy this stuff up in the state, you know. I drove over to Pennsylvania to pick up something for the studio. I drove down to further and south in New Jersey to pick up something. There I go bumping the uh, camera cord again because it's suspended above overhead camera. And my computer's on the floor. Guys, can you believe it's the weekend already? Thank God. I actually made it all five days this week to work. It was close. I almost didn't make it yesterday. And then I'm like, ah, it's Friday. I don't want to go in. It's Friday. But I went anyway. I sucked it up. And I went into work. Okay, something crashed. Chrome EXE application error. Boy, I hope that didn't crash my uh, feed. Patreon exclusive. My notifications. You guys still hear me? I only worked three this week. Well, they're talking about the rumor is they're going to shut us down. Got to work four next week. Okay. Yeah. They make me work five days a week. We never really shut down. They shut down um, for two weeks when this whole COVID thing first started. But now they're talking about uh, shutting us down. Uh, next week and at the end of next week for a couple weeks um, but rumor is we're, it's going to be paid it's going to be a paid shutdown which is okay I'm fine I'm actually hoping they still ask for volunteers because I work in a very critical area and uh, the ask us to continue to work and what they did with some people the last time they did the shutdown for every hour they worked, you know, they got their regular pay. Plus, they gave them an, an hour vacation. So you can earn eight hours, one day vacation every day you worked. You get a day of vacation. And I talked to, like, some people that, yeah, I'm, I'm up to 150 hours vacation time. I'm like, 150? How do you get that many? And they told me how it went. I'm like, oh, I was out because I had my knee surgery and I missed all that. So... But anyway, I 
Oh yeah. What do you do? Obvious. I mean, we we work six seven days a week too, but uh, we have government contracts, so we have to work. We build helicopters and we build um, ospreys for the uh, military. All right, Wood Buzzard, 1978, thanks for stopping by. Good night. Shampoo and hair clippers, and no one was getting a haircut during this whole thing. That's okay. You got a stockpile of hair clippers, though. I'll give you that. Shampoo, why don't they just make hand sanitizer instead? I'm sure you have the ingredients to make that. Someone was buying a lot of it. Yeah, China probably. <laughs> Turning it into hand sanitizer and selling it back. Yeah, they got like TP. Remember that TP crisis we had early on? Like what? Like how is it you, you like have a run on toilet paper? What people like you just got to crap that much that you just figure I'm going to get all the toilet paper in the world because I got a feeling I'm going to have a severe case of the runs for the next 12 months. You know, like who thinks that way? Nobody. I would have never thought, like, wait, why is there a run on TP? Why is there no toilet paper? Why is there no paper towels? Because people, when they go get toilet paper, they bought paper towels. Good luck flushing that down the toilet. The guys down at the sewer plant be awful pissed. I knew because that shit doesn't uh, degrade. It just shits there. I mean, sits there. All right, guys. So tomorrow... For those that are still here and you weren't here for the full time tomorrow, I'll be putting out another video. And this is going to be up at my boss's, uh, my boss's work. Not his work, but his house. I'm going up to his house. He told me he's got a pallet. A pallet. That's right. I said pallet. Full of baseball cards in 800 count boxes. That was given to him. And he's giving it to me, not charging me a dime, just wants it out of his house. Someone gave it to him, and he wants it gone. So tomorrow at 10 o'clock, hopefully it's not raining, i take my truck up there and load it up. If it's raining, I guess I'm going to have to get a tarp. Because I don't have one of those covers or a cap for my truck yet. I don't get a cap, and I don't want to get the cover because it's, you know, it's a truck for hauling stuff, not for hiding stuff. So, coming up on two and a half hours, guys. We made good time tonight. We got it done in less than two and a half hours, so that's not bad. I want to thank you guys for the thumbs up. I want to thank every one of you guys for stopping in, hanging out again, just chit-chatting, having a good time. I can't wait to get my studio opened. Um, I'm going to try to have a, a, a guest in the studio while I live stream my grand opening type thing and have a, you know, like a co-host and have uh, some giveaways and stuff like that. Hopefully it's going to be fun and you're all invited, you know, to stop on by. I just don't know what date it's going to be. Tomorrow is going to be a day worth of sanding in the garage. And then I have to put up the paint, paint it. And I still have to get a heater, put a heater in there because winter is coming. Uh -huh. No dragons, just winter. No sexy babes, just winter. Um, and, um, you know, I want it to be warm in there. That's where I'll be working out of for all of my videos from now on. Um, and yeah, can't wait. I'm not going to spoil it by telling you what all I've got in store. You'll have to tune in to find out, but it's pretty neat. It's some novel stuff, not the novel coronavirus or anything like that, but just pretty, pretty neat stuff that's going to be in there. I 
could bind it up. The problem is I can't get a lot of neat stuff because I need the room for box storage. You guys have seen the wall up here. That's just one. That's like a third of it. Yeah, maybe only a quarter of it. I'll say, I'll say a third of it. Because I have stuff out in the hall. I've got stuff down in the living room. Oh, God. i got stuff in the garage I haven't even opened up yet from the Philly, from the Philly lot that I bought a couple months ago. Uh, but it's going to be fun. I'm dying to get it going, but I'm not rushing the work. I'm not going to, you know, make it look too crappy. I still have things I got to buy. I want to buy a green screen. I need like new camera equipment. I want to make it look really, really nice and professional. Um, my wife wants me to get a new PC, like go with a laptop down there. But I don't know. I just want to do all my stuff from there. So if I put my, my PC down there, my uh, desktop. I can do all my gaming and stuff down there and my YouTube videos for baseball cards. Do my live streams from there, both gaming and cards like we're doing tonight. Sorry I haven't been on for like a week, guys, or actually nine or ten days. But I've been busy uh, driving around. But that's about the longest drought you're going to see from me. I'm going to get back into maybe not daily, but a couple times a week now. All right, Criterium, thank you. You guys will get to see it. You'll be the first ones to see it. That's for sure. The guys are always here. We'll get to see it. And again, with all that, thanks everyone again. And I will see you around the channels. So, with all that being said and done, this is Boom Zang signing out saying peace. And we will see you, Gene Mock, the oldest card in the box. 1978 tops. See you in the next one. Peace, guys. And the camera's shaking. All right. Good night, guys.